Okay. And we are officially live. One minute before seven. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, hello everyone. Good afternoon. It's a very impromptu live stream <laughs> that I'm doing today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know if you can, uh, if you are there, if you can hear me in the comments below. I'm hoping everybody can hear me. At least the computer says that you should be able to hear me. So anyway, <laughs> it's very unscripted. Truth be told, I've been very busy with work lately and I have not had time to almost do anything <laughs> so um it is very unscripted so we're gonna go the true let's do a live stream and see what comes out <laughs> okay um and surprisingly today i actually received a very important email or not mail but a very important uh delivery uh these are some handmade watercolors that i bought on etsy uh they're from a girl that I, uh, where, where are those ones? Um, uh, let me show you. I follow her on Instagram and I, and she does watercolors and I really love the colors that I thought I'm going to get. And <laughs> some of them are really nice. I'm going to show you, uh, but basically are from, uh, Julia Maggi. Uh, she's from Germany actually. Right. And. Uh, you can follow her. I'll put the details after the live stream in the description. Anyway, I got some extra uh, extra greens here, two dots just to test them out, uh, and really nice. And then I bought a bunch of colors, and she had some really nice colors. You guys know that I am the person that does really muted colors, or like if it's possible <laughs> that I have colors that are like uh, autumn all the time then those are the ones i'm gonna do so i bought a bunch and some of them are really nice i really was hoping and i'm going to say the names um while i'm using them right some of them i actually tried to do last week by myself to mix but it's very hard to mix these colors like this one this green this is a white sage green very hard to mix anyway uh johan says yes we hear you let me type back to say awesome okay I'm typing awesome back so now I'm going to swatch them and afterwards my thought was I had happy here drawn this is happy if you guys don't know who happy is he's my cat one of my cats okay he I did the uh, happy and then I want to draw flowers all around in his body right like tattoos and then color them in and it's gonna be inside happy so this is what we're doing but first let's just swatch some colors let's just play around um i'm swatching on fabriano watercolor paper 100 percent cotton why am i using this paper i was trying to draw on it and i made a mistake and then i kind of damaged a little bit the paper so i cannot use that particular one so I'm just going to use it for some swatching. I made it super tiny because I'm going to plan to cut this swatch out and put it inside the tin box. By the way, the tin box is also something that I bought from uh, from the girl. And it comes like this. It's a nice tin. And uh, every watercolor that comes, comes with a magnet on the back. Which is really nice because magnets, I, I like magnets, yeah. I kind of... I kind of put like uh, this blush color and yellow and then the reds, greens, blues, violets and, and the rest, right? So let's just get to see uh, when you look at the colors just like that, you don't really realize what the, the actual color is. These are hand pool watercolors, handmade, really nice. Mm. So... These are not watercolors you can just buy in a tube or anything. And okay, this is a blush color. This I love. This is gonna be so delicate for some of the flowers. What I'm noticing is that it's quite, it's also quite opaque, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this is lighter a little bit than what a Naples yellow would be, right? If you do. 
So I'm just going to swatch them and I'm going to see what the colors are. And then we're going to use them in the piece that we're making, okay? Um, let's see. This is, well, so this, the first one is called Moon Blush. The second one is called Iceland Yellow. So let's see. Okay, it's a really deep yellow. It's a really nice yellow. Um, it has some little bit of black in it, I think. So it's my favorite kind of yellow. Really muted and really yellow. <laughs> okay, again, uh, Yulia Maggi watercolors. She has an Etsy shop and everything called Yulia Maggi. So, yeah, just go check her out. Um, after the live stream, I'll just put the the links in the description. It's not sponsored. I bought them myself. So, just making clear, right, that I don't, I don't do sponsored stuff. I like to own my own things. Okay, this was called Shady Leaves. I really wanted to try this one because... Um, this is a combination color. Don't know if you know this. This is uh, a red with a blue. And it, it goes into, I would say, purple. Yeah, purple, maybe. Okay. It's called shady leaves. These are nice for the tiny leaves that you make when you make an accent or something, right? It's a, it would be a nice one. Uh, then we have... French violet. So we have Iceland red. So I'm curious about this Iceland red. And again, a very muted. Looks like vermilion. Very muted red. These are really autumn colors, what I'm noticing here. And this is good. That's why I bought them. Because I am into autumn right now, and I guess I will always be into autumn. <laughs> okay, except for this one that is probably it's called white sage, and this is a really I think it's gonna become one of my favorite greens. But let's see how it looks like on real paper because when you look at it on Etsy, it looks really nice. Oh yeah, look at this green. Look how pale it is. This is so cool. Okay, I'm really excited about the dream, the green. This with this green you can do so what fun it looks so dark, but when you use it it's a totally different color. Yeah, right? Like in the pun you think you might think like huh, what is this color? But actually hmm. <laughs> so let's do this. The next green I have it's called Gothic Green. So we're going to do this gothic green. And this is more like a blue green. And this is really not. Oh God, look at this color. Look how pretty it is. Does the screen make it uh, do justice to the color? This is such a blue green. I would have so much trouble trying to mix this color up. This would be so cool. Can you imagine... This would be so cool for the for the Christmas parts because they're such cool colors. They really like winter. Okay, this is Gothic Green. And now I'm going to go to Iceland Green. Okay, this is a different type of green. Let's see. This is such a pale green. It's really nice. It's really muted. Okay. I am really loading my brush. By the way, I'm using a number 5 brush. I don't know why I'm using a number 5, not number 6. But anyway. This is more like olive green. Kind of stuff. And it's really dark. Again, it has these specks of black in it. That make it really nice. So, yeah. Okay, let's see the blues. Now I'm really curious about the blues. Okay, this is called uh, November Sky. And I was pretty excited about this blue. Oh, yes. 
looks like a stormy like a stormy blue notice how beautiful this blue is okay then i have another blue that is called burnt blue i'm curious as to why it's called burnt blue <laughs> right let me check let me check uh, okay i can see okay burnt blue looks more towards purple purplish blue let's see oh beautiful yeah purple blue burnt blue really muted and the colors really go well together i would have to say okay then the next one is going to be uh, uh another blue which is called the goat uh, gothic blue the other one was gothic green now i have a gothic blue and let's see how that looks like what does it mean gothic gothic it really means oh wow look at this blue look at this blue i was never a, a big fan of blues but now that i'm seeing this one <laughs> i'm really a fan of blues <laughs> Okay, the next one is called French Violet. So let's see. French Violet. This is going to be my favorite set. I'm going to be so sad when they're over. Okay, French Violet. Oh, wow. It's like a Potter's Pink kind of, kind of situation here. This is going to be so nice. Yeah. This is really like a Potter's Pink. Okay, I'm I'm impatient. I don't let things dry, so that's okay. And I think they also granularly now. The last one is called Wild Mauve. And then I'm going to swatch these two greens separately because these are they're just dots. You can you can buy them. I have to say that I dig the colors too. <laughs> they look awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. You know, some people some people don't like to buy handmade hand put watercolor or handmade watercolor, especially from people. Um, that's because they can. You know, they are more expensive than normal watercolors, and you might think, why are they? Because you know, if you think about a Daniel Smith, oh my God, look at this wild mauve. <sighs> But it takes a lot of time to make a hand poured watercolor like 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 a Daniel Smith or a um uh, you know Schminke. They can afford to I'm I'm doing some of the colors separate here because I wanna see how they look like on a bigger part oh my god look at this granulation so they can afford to do big quantities right because and then then they will be oh hello thank you for your lives in reply love your art oh thank you <laughs> Aaron <Dill. laughs> hi back <laughs> okay now now I'm, I'm noticing the chat and the stuff right um so of course they're gonna cost more because it takes a lot of time to do this manually and only in small quantities and you, you know people people that do this manually they don't have the machines to to grind the pigments and so on they people need to really do them by hand so my my biggest respects but to get these colors like look at this blue uh and this other blue and i mean all the blues oh my god <laughs> and the pale greens <laughs> just awesome okay these are these are from different sets this is called a uh, path it's a different green. I think this is not really so muted. And oh yeah, but it's still nice. It's like an olive green. Look at this. This is like an olive green. This is nice. This is nice. And this is called moss. Let's see. Okay, this is really pale green as well, but it's it looks like a little bit more like the May green. 
but yeah it's really bright <laughs> it's really bright green so if i were to add to my collection something that will work together with these colors i would add this one that's called pat because it's a really dark green so you know something that would work with it like that's what i would use okay so swatch time is over i would say <laughs> Which ones are my favorite ones? I think the blues and this green and this green with the blush. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to find favorites. Okay. The funny part is she didn't have half pan on the white sage. But I cannot say that I mind because the white sage, this this really pale green is really nice. And it's good that I got a, a big pan. But I do not think I can fit that one. Okay, let's see. What we will do is I will uh, the beauty of having magnets is that you can do these kind of things. Right? Okay. Shady leaves. Iceland. Let's see. I just wanna make make sure because I, I actually wanna ensure that I can close this I can close the, the thing so I'm just going to try my best to put the colors in okay this is looks like color surgery <laughs> okay like this this is how we do it okay and now theoretically now you can close the tin and the tin is closed, so this is how we do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. How are you, Arendil? Where are you coming from? And what time of day is it now by you? <laughs> That's the question I have. Okay. So I have now my tin, I have my colors, and now let's just get to do some drawing and some flowers on the cat and then have some fun. Um, what I'm thinking is this happy. My hub master is it's a tabby cat and it's he's quite yellow. So I'll use I'll make some splotches of this randomly and then all the flowers are colored in and it's gonna be quite blue, blue red. So I'm thinking anemones and peonies. Yeah, peonies and anemones, and then lots of leaves and lots of stuff, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close it for now because I don't want them to dry. Okay. And I'm going to move this swatch here. And first things first, I think I need to tape my artwork. So, dun, 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 dun. speaking of which, my cats are doing fine. They were, they were flying around. But let me tell you what I'm doing. Last year, I could not have a Christmas tree. And what they do to this year, I read somewhere that cats do not like the smell of lemons. That's what they were saying. So we'll see. <laughs> so um, because of that, I actually bought a special lemon spray with lemon smell. And I'm planning to spray my Christmas tree with that and see if they're going to go and chew on it. Because that's the problem. I have a plastic tree and they like to chew on it. I do not have a I do not have a real tree. Christmas trees could be quite dangerous for cats, okay? Because they could be quite toxic. So I don't wanna have a real Christmas tree, but I wanna have my plastic one. But if they're gonna continue to chew on it, that's not cool. So um, and inadvertently, I have sprayed some on my hand so that I can smell how it smells. And <laughs> it is smelling like lemon here. So my cats decided they're not going to stick around because, you know, they don't like to smell, which is good. <laughs> which is very good. Okay. Okay, I taped my my... My piece is very important. And now, uh, let me try first with some 
pencil and then we'll see uh then we'll do the artwork with um maybe maybe these rotring pens or my micron pens we'll see i have two rotring pens they are also waterproof and they're nice uh the outside the line art i did it with this unipin 08 because i needed something that is um pretty thick so i chose a 08 and this is what the one i use for it okay so let's uh let's move this one away because i'm going to switch like this so it's gonna be a a, a flower coming from this side let's see i'm gonna do a peony Peonies are quite easy to draw, I would say. Okay. Okay, so that will be one, and then we need to do some of these. Okay, and another leaf here. Okay, and I'll add the details when I add the line art, okay, because <laughs> it's important, but uh, something like this, a peony here. Uh, what else do I want to have? Uh, maybe an anemone here. So we have... Anemones have lots of these parts here. I like to draw anemones. Don't know why, but they are my favorite. They are my favorite flowers to draw sometimes. Right? Okay. Okay. That's a cool anemone. I'm gonna do one. Two, three leaves. So two big flowers, and let me think. Here, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, so not only flowers, but let's do some some berries, right? And then some more leaves. And on the tail, what would I do on the tail? What should I do on the tail? One leaf. And then... So um, I'll do some tiny flowers here. Okay. And then that was the tail, and I'm thinking the legs, what should we do? In here I'm going to have a tiny flower, 
Okay, and some more leaves. Okay, and here it's gonna be another anemone, or uh, not anemone, but the other one, peony, a tiny one, and there are some leaves here on the on here. And maybe some more leaves, some more berries. And leave here. I'm adding tiny drawings here, tiny doodle. Okay, just because it needs the empty space needs to be filled. Right? And um here as well. And here. What else? And you know the design will come like this, and then here is gonna be just color and 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 things like that. Okay, Ginger Kelly, I love kitties. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, I actually <laughs> I actually made this drawing based on based on Happy. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ch -ch 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 my watercolors. And now let me see if my road rings are good. So I usually use the microns. Let me explain why I use the microns. Usually I'm gonna use the 04 for from the rotting. ring. Rotting is a very good one and it's also waterproof. I have nothing against rot rings, uh, except that they are more expensive than microns. So whenever, <laughs> whenever something happens, then I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I keep rotating this one, but that's because it's easier to draw, like. And easier to do. The reason why, so maybe that's why I don't use so much of my road rings because, to be honest, because they're more expensive than microns. And let's be fair, no matter how many drawings I would make, uh, usually one rotting or one micron pen usually lasts me for. <laughs> about two or three drawings because uh, afterwards it just becomes faded so that's why I could you say that I'm a cheapo I'm a cheapo <laughs> I am a cheap person I do not like to if I have to pay a lot of money for my supplies and especially something that I use a lot I don't know, I, I feel like I need to use microns all the time. Um, 
It doesn't have to be your guys' experience as well. Because, I don't know, this is the Netherlands that I'm talking about. It could be that maybe in the US or in another country, the rotings are cheaper. I have no idea. For me, though, they are very good. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, they are very good. I like to work with them. It's just that I wish they would be a little bit lesser expensive. I will add... Uh, I would like some more to add some more details, but I will add them a little bit at the end, like details on the leaves and so on. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm adding these weird leaves here. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is just some doodling ones. And I will add colors to them. Okay, another leaf here. And how did I do this? I took a picture of Happy when he was standing like that. And I just like traced a little bit around him. Uh, on the board. And uh, Johan helped, my husband. Because he had some time to digitize it. I just didn't have time. So much work. So much work. So, this is based on the real hub master. And he goes and he looks like that. Like, on the sides. <laughs> He's very dramatic sometimes, you know. <laughs> that's, that's how he does. It's like, I'm a drama queen and I know it. <laughs> and of course I'm going to draw him. Because he's such a fun kitty. And I cannot wait to use my my new colors. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be very muted. Okay. And the anemones are going to be very much blue and purple. I really can smell the, <laughs> the lemon on my hands. It's so funny. Maybe I'll become addicted to the lemon in my hands. Okay. gonna clean up once we start erasing things here okay again the tiny puny here I remember how long it took me till I was able to draw my first punies man that took forever but once you learn it somehow it's okay Now imagine happy with tattoos like this. Maha. Poor happy. Why am I making fun of him all the time? He's a very sweet cat. He doesn't deserve to be made fun of. Well, except for me. I'm his mommy, so I'm allowed to do whatever. He's very naughty, so, so he sometimes deserves to be made fun of okay let's turn it around okay 
dun, dun, dun. So, what happened in the last few weeks? Why didn't I post so much? Literally have been busy with my day job, which has zapped me of energy. Literally. I've been sleeping after work. I've been sleeping like like crazy. So I I didn't have... I was trying to... Like last live stream, I tried to do some cards and some really easy stuff. And my brain was just not working. I tried the whole night to draw some some stuff. I tried to draw some cats and some other stuff. It's just my brain was not into it. Like my brain and my hand were not communicated. So, so you know, nothing came out of that. It was so frustrating. So I've just decided, you know what, I'll just... I'll just take some rest, let my mind rest a little bit, and then it will come back to it. Sometimes it's not a lack of ideas. It's not like you have a um, writer's blog or whatever. It's not a lack of ideas that happens. It's just your brain is so tired that you literally cannot draw anymore, right? Even though I had all these ideas in my hand, I knew what I wanted to make, it was plain as day in my head, right? I had so many ideas. But for some reason, just my hands weren't cooperating with this whole thing. So, nobody to blame but me because I'm, I'm spending way too much time. But, you know, um, people do need to work and do need to make a living <laughs> so um, yeah sometimes life gets in the way <laughs> life gets in the way of things it's okay it's not the end of the world uh, now I can come with renewed energy on the other side I'm looking forward for December because I'm going to have some uh, free Three days, especially since it's my, almost my 15 year marriage anniversary in December. I'm not going to say when, but it's when I'm going to have my <laughs> three days. <laughs> so uh, I cannot wait for that. I'm going to erase the lines and then I'm going to add the details on the leaves and then we can go get coloring. Okay. Let me see if I can find an eraser. You guys know what the funny part with the erasers is? Happy is eating them, so that's why he needs to he needs to be made fun of. Hap is so I find my erasers. If I forget them on my desk, the next day I find my erasers downstairs in the kitchen. He just steals them and he plays with them and they're full of uh bite marks. <laughs> so you know, this is what happens when you have a cat like Hap. He just he just steals everything from my desk. Not that I don't I don't blame him, but you know he could be lesser naughty kitty cat. But I love him to bits, so nothing will happen to him. Don't worry. I'm just buying more erasers because he keeps eating them <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so. We're going to use the muted colors that we just swatched, okay? And again, for reference, I bought them from Etsy from a girl called you, uh, and her handle name is Julie Maggi. And actually, they were sent from Germany, so I'm assuming that she's from Germany, but I don't know. Uh, if you live in the US, I'm sure she can send them to the US, but I just thought that the colors were so nice that I couldn't. I couldn't resist. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So I had this idea for a very long time to make some drawings inside shapes and to make some drawings inside animal shapes. And the drawings, you know me, I'm always doing flowers. It's not like it's not like I'm making landscapes. I'm not a landscape person. I mean I could do it, but landscapes are pretty 
I'm not gonna say boring to me, but yeah, they're boring. I don't do landscapes. Okay, so for now, this is what turned out. How does it look like? It looks nice, right? Can you guys see it fully? Okay, it looks nice. Um, so what did I want? I wanted some some of that nice yellow reddish stuff. Uh, just to just to add some color here and there, right? Um, and on the, on the paws and so on. And then I'm just gonna color in everything. So, ta 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 ta, my tiny teen that I love uh, with the colors. And I remember this was the yellow. Okay. Dun -dun -dun. And it's gonna be messy on the inside, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just adding some some of the yellow and I'm going to make sure that the yellow, for example, underneath here is much more than underneath the neck. It's going to be messy. It's okay. And we're going to leave some white space. I'm, I'm picking up colors with the and I'll I'll do some these parts of the ears and the nose and stuff with the blush color that I have. But then the yellow. Theoretically, Happy has the paws white. But for the purposes of artistic appropriation, we're gonna do the <laughs> we're gonna do the paws in a different color. Okay. How do you call that artistic when you take artistic liberties with your <laughs> with your subject right okay dun, dun. it's very loose notice that is very loose i'm not interested in making every part of it being colored or anything i just wanted to give it a little bit of a tint and then we're gonna come and do the rest and the reason why i'm doing this tint is so that the lines of the cat don't get lost Okay. Notice here how I'm taking extra care for this part and I I don't mind mm, here that I went over the lines because I'm going to come and it's going to be glazing and all that stuff, right? So I don't mind at all. Behind the ear, it's an important place. Okay. And I am making sure that everything is covered. Okay, kitty cats. What other stuff have we been learning about kitty cats lately? Okay. We've learned some funny stuff about kitty cats, about how do you know that your kitty cats love you? So, <laughs> this was like, um, le let me put the heat two on so I can zap it. 
So how do we know that Kitty gets Lovos? Apparently, and here I'm saying apparently, <laughs> apparently whenever they just watch you randomly and they continue to watch you from either above or um, okay, that's cool. I used the blue. I used the blue for the eye. That's really cool. Okay, and not only when they watch you, but you know if they they come to you if. If they sleep on you, apparently they love you, which they do. They always sleep with us in the bed. So, um, yeah, they apparently there's are telltale tales that that they love us. Um, if they're always with us. If they come and greet you, right? And and we always thought that Kit Kats are solitary beings. I don't know why we always thought that they're solitary. But actually, they really miss us when we're gone. And they really come and greet us when we come back. And um, it's, it's very interesting. I would never have imagined that that they care that much, right? I would never have imagined that. Dun, 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 dun. Now, let's look at the colors. Which colors should I pick? Mm. Let me try. I don't remember the name of this color, but it looked like Potter's Pink. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this flower as Potter's Pink. And of course, I'm going to come with some more darker things later on, but at least for now. I'm trying to make sure that this is Potter's Pink. Um, that one. This one, I think it should be with the mauve. It was called Wild Mauve, right? Mauve. Hey, I heard somebody was called Mauve. Like a girl, her name was like that. And I'm like, hmm. The parents really had some weird ideas on uh, naming their kids after colors. I don't know. It would be like, I'm naming my kids yellow. I don't know how I would feel about that one. I'm trying to do a gradient, but look, let's let's be very frank here. These flowers are much tinier than what I would normally do. So having a gradient, it's very hard. But what I can do is when, once it dries out, I will go and I will deepen some of the colors, some of the petals, right? And then that will give the impression of a gradient. But this, I really like, um, I really like the muted colors, okay? Uh, and which one of the blues was it that I wanted? Uh, this blue. If I'm not mistaking, this is blue. Yeah, this is a good blue.
is a bigger flower. This is just the first layer. As always, first layers look questionable. I heard some people, I uh, there was this trend uh, on TikTok where you go and you say, don't, don't check up an artist um, in between uh, drawing or in between uh, painting because that's going to look very weird and that's going to be not very nice. So I would say that is very much true because my in-between stages always are weird. And only after two or three layers, I can say, okay, I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm happy with what we've done here. I'm happy with the colors. I'm happy with the depth. I'm happy with everything. So don't forget to give yourself the time to give yourself the space, right? Because watercolor is a very hard medium and watercolor cannot be rushed or cannot be made you know however you want it by wondering what's with the blush I was actually considering if these tiny flowers will be better off with the blush yeah they are okay and I'm gonna use some red and I'm going to paint the berries with a little bit of red or at least some of the berries this red looks like a little bit like brown okay let's be let's be honest here <laughs> okay um we're gonna use the pale green and then we're gonna use the other greens to really make it pop so this is sage this is white sage so i am making the leaves that are standing on on top in my view i'm making them with white sage and that's gonna be you know the first color so white sage and then i'm going to use this one uh, which is Icelandic green right to do the other ones yeah and I need to put a bit lesser water I think I need a more thicker consistency of the Icelandic green Okay, this other one also Icelandic green. And I think this one also. And the other one was the other green, what was it, sage green. I think with the sage green because it's it's pretty opaque. I need to go back with the black pen afterwards and actually make sure the lines are visible. This is what happens when you have an opaque color and it's normal because you cannot get this green unless you mix in white. You have to mix it's probably mixed with titanium white, right? So you cannot have anything else other than than that, okay? Okay, I'm using some more Icelandic green. This is really coming together. Okay, if 
you're wondering what colors I should use more, I think for these berries I'll use these ones more and this one here. I will add the white gel pen afterwards, okay? Don't don't stress. Okay. And then I didn't let the leaves dry, so the colors do run into each other, but that's okay. Like I said, first layer, people, first layer, then then comes second layer, third layer, etc., etc. Right? And then I keep hearing stuff being typed. What is going on? Mm hmm. And I had this beautiful green, right? There was this green here. It's more blue green. And I wanna do and let's see if I can make that. And I wanna do the all the tiny ones. This beautiful green. Because they are the ones that are gonna stick out. Right? From the design, they're gonna stick out pretty much. So, and afterwards, we're gonna do second layers of everything, and it's gonna look pretty nice. I'm pretty sure. I haven't decided the middle of the flowers what colors I should do, but I'm sure I'll come to a conclusion. That is satisfactory. Notice how much it ties in because I did all of those ones with such a dark color. Okay. And like I said on this sage, I'm going to come with a black pen and I'm going to make it much more. Now I'm coming with second layer, second layer. And I'm going to spread the color around, right? And I'm just adding where the shadows will be and then leaving the petal otherwise untouched. Okay. This looks pretty. Okay. And I'm going to add the blue here, second layer. And I'm going to pull the colors in. Okay. And I'm going to go from petal to petal, okay? Because every petal needs a little bit of. extra not as much as the other ones but they do need a bit of extra okay and then this one so I have to say the purchased I the purchase is approved <laughs> the purchase I'm doing is approved I've done this purchase and I approve of it. It's probably going to be my Christmas present because I don't think I'm going to get another Christmas present. But that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I think the middles needs to be with some really nice yellow, but I don't have in this palette the nice yellow. <coughs> okay. Uh, that one. Okay, my apologies, <laughs> uh, which one was it, this was the mauve, okay, wild mauve, I'm adding water, and we're gonna add 
add a second layer. Okay. Let's see. Uh, one trick is it to be able to let some of the previous color in, pull it in towards where the color is, don't try to pull it out. So if you're coming with water, come to the other direction and fan it like that, okay? Not on the direction of the actual flower. Because once you pull it out, there's no there's nowhere to go, okay? Okay. Yep. The colors are really pretty. I think some of my favorite colors so far. Okay, now I'm doing the other peony. So we're gonna be very careful how we approach this one. Notice how I am constantly brushing and um, cleaning my brush because Now this makes it nicer and I'm going to do the ones in the back and the one in the back is this one and okay and then on this one just a little bit yep and what else tum 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 um I would say the ones with the with the Icelandic green need the leaves need a little bit more a second layer. Needs to be darker, you know. And that will make it a bit stand out it's darker okay and then this one this one was a little bit like Potter's pink and just going to I'm just going to add smidges of color here Make it darker. Okay. Happy. I'm going to do the yellow again and I'm going to deepen some shadows here and there like for example here by this pole I believe this pole needs to be darker yeah, because it's in the back so I'm doing that the tail probably needs a little bit more darkness Okay. Some of these parts need a little bit more dark. And this part also. Okay. 
So this is me working with very muted colors. <laughs> I really like the eye that is blue and then we're gonna add of course everything else let's try to add some more color onto the white sage and we're probably gonna add the black lines at the end that's gonna be fine okay now I'm thinking I really need a yellow for the middle of these flowers right just working. <laughs> Johan is like, just working. <laughs> yes, he's working. <laughs> I have another tiny palette. And I had my favorite yellow ever. Do you guys have ever a favorite yellow? I only have tiny palettes. Why do I have only tiny palettes? Uh, let me tell you which one is the yellow. Um, Kunakredom Bold Hue. That's the yellow that I really love. And that's the one I'm going to use. And I think it really matches with all these other colors. Oh. My cat just scared me. <laughs> I almost were on live camera. Why, happy? Why? So he came from behind and he... Okay, he's here. The master hop master is here. Please, people, have a look. If he's not looking exactly the same. He's looking exactly the same. Dun, 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 dun. Hi, Happy. How are you? Did you miss me? Did you just wake up? going to do some more of this yellow here above this just to make it a bit more darker yes happy you see what I'm doing here I am painting you darling okay that was it maybe a tiny smidgen of red here Just to make it pop. Okay. He is trying to smell the new watercolors I have. He's probably liking how they smell because because they smell exactly like Uh, with honey and stuff, so that's why he's very interested in it. Hi, happy. I'm doing a second layer on these ones because they need to be really popping out. These tiny leaves. And we're soon finishing up, right? So if you have your questions, please post them so I can answer. Um... But this was just a fun experiment that I'm doing, right? Um, especially since I am basically not having the time to concentrate that much. <laughs> this is the fun experiment that I'm doing. Almost dry brushing some colors just to just to get some texture and okay that's it and I'm going to add white gel pen together with a black pen okay so that was it for this part I'm going to zap it and then we're gonna add the we're gonna add the stuff okay 
And by the way, next time I remember to actually turn out beautifully. Thank you for this video. Yeah. Next time I'll work with a smaller brush because 05 is very big for this kind of details. It's actually very hard. It's very hard to. I don't know about you, but I learned my lesson. <laughs> Use a tinier brush. Maybe then I can actually get some proper things. Okay. And now again, I'm going to use the rot ring to really make sure that we have black lines on this. Uh oh, I used the 07. Don't mind me, I'm making... Notice how the rotating is really dark compared to the microns. And this is what I like about the rotings. What I don't like about the rotings, like I said, is what the price. Price is a little bit too much for me. But to be honest, they're very good pens. Okay. So, dun 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 dun. I'm adding dots everywhere. And some more lines here and there, especially on the light ones. Okay. I forgot to add the lines to these leaves. <laughs> so I'm gonna add them now. And there are some white gel pen things that needs to happen on the berries. Okay. And maybe Whatever. Uh, what it says? Cute, happy. The colors turn out super. Oh, thank you. Yes, indeed. They're really nice, right? Really uh, muted. Let's put it this way. <laughs> okay. That was it for today. Um, again, uh, later on, I'm going to put. The, I'm going to put the links to this one. Um, Yulia Muggy watercolors. I bought them on Etsy. They're really nice. I really love the colors. So I'm going to use them a lot. And um, I hope you enjoy your evening. It's 8 o'clock, 12 for me. I don't know how much this is for you. But uh, it has been fun. And oh, thank you Marlena. And <laughs> see you guys next time. Uh, most probably Sunday or Saturday. I, I don't know. And by that time I will actually have some time to to make a bigger drawing and to um, probably use these ones. And I'll consider whether I make an actual drawing or whether or not I'll just use this one and I'll make something that I've never made before, which is landscapes, right? Let's see, <laughs> right? We are in, uh, in trying up mode, but uh, have fun. <laughs>